Hey guys, it's Wilkins Husky here, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7.2. We are here with our wolf, Sawtooth, and his mate, Nile, and his four puppies, Kilimanjaro, one of his little boys, another one of his little boys, Danny B, his little girl, Gila, and his other son, Cimarron, which is our first albino pup for this series. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm so sorry that, um, I didn't film winter. Uh, I actually did, but, yeah, I did some winter hunting while talking about certain things. Um, but apparently, um, <clears throat> it didn't save the recording. Well, actually, I accidentally deleted it. Um, I didn't mean to, but I deleted it. So we are on Arduous, currently. Uh, our winter was challenging. Um, so as you guys know, we have to, um, play it, um, like that. But, um, you know what I've decided? Since Arduous is super duper hard, uh, or actually no. Uh, what I've decided is if he rolls Bring It On, or arduous for his year, um, for this litter, he gets to lower the difficulty setting, um, because of our albino pup. Um, so that's what I've decided that the special ability from our albino pup is. Um, so for the pack, the whole pack, since this is our first albino puppy, uh, if we, um, if we actually, um, <clears throat> if we just, um, if we, uh, what do you want to call it, um, since we have an albino pup, we're going to consider it good luck from, uh, the ancestors, our wolf quest ancestors, uh, that's what we're going to consider it, um, so, yeah, we're going to consider it good luck from the ancestors to us. Um, and we are on Keep Watch. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. It's like a thunderstorm out of nowhere. Alright, roll. Alright, so we are on Bring It On, so we are currently going to be on Challenging, since we're already on Arduous. Um, so, yeah. We are on Challenging, and no, Mr. Coyote, you are not getting my babies. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh my goodness, it's so hard! All right, let's run after him <clears throat> and take him down. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Oh, uh, that's so cool that we got enough experience. So I think you need like fifteen or sixteen thousand uh, experience to unlock it. But uh, even Husky had that much experience, but didn't unlock it. Um, so I'm actually quite surprised. But I'm gonna say that. Um, it's a blessing from the ancestors that we had, um, that they sent down, uh, an albino puppy, um, which would, um, you know, symbolize, um, having special abilities. So we're gonna say that, um, we gain an extra ancestor blessing for the pup as well. So we're just gonna say this is like a super puppy, uh, sent down from the ancestors, so, uh, Cimarron is very good, um, I, I, I love having a white pup. Okay, I'm gonna stop ranting about the white puppy, um, okay, what are their colors, um, okay, that's a cougar, that, that is a cougar. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Going face to face with a cougar in a thunderstorm. Alright, there we go. 200 experience for that. Holy cow. Alright, let's run down here. And we'll heal up. Feed the puppies. Um, and, yeah. Alrighty. This is the quickest we've gotten to keep watch. Because I howled to get it. So, like, see? If I howl... Uh, pack stats goes up. Or not pack stats, um, pack affinity. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, after we fight off another predator and feed the puppies, 
uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep to get rid of the rain. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so let's feed you, Danny Uh, Cimarron. Hila. And Kilimanjaro. Alright, I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back and the storm has seemed to called itself off. Oh my goodness, their houses are so adorable. Alright, so. This is why we kill a lot of elk in the winter though, because this way we have um, multiple elk carcasses um, around. And especially for this den, we really need elk carcasses because um, we're not that close to the cattle ranch anymore. Um, we could always, like, run over there, but, yeah. Um, so this is the first time we're using the Bison Peak Den. Um, so, yeah, he's trying out both tree dens, or, uh, trying to try out all the dens. But I think one of his, uh, descendants, his pups, uh, is going to have to try out the Saddle Meadows Den. Um, so, remember guys, in the description, you get to choose which one of our puppies will be the heir or heiress. Gila is our only female puppy, so if you choose her, she will be our heiress. If you choose Danny B, Kilimanjaro, or Cimarron, they will be the heirs. <laughs> one of the heirs. Now, Kilimanjaro looks exactly like his mother. Whereas Danny B and Gila, they look like their father, but a little bit brown. And Cimarron is our only white puppy. Now keep in mind, if you guys choose Cimarron, he has the chance to earn ancestor blessings for every five stranger wolves he fights off when he is the father. So if you guys choose... If you guys choose Cimarron to have a side story, you will get to choose between him or Ramu for the heir. Now, if you choose Cimarron, he has a chance of getting an ancestor blessing for every five strangers he chases off. So that's his special ability if you pick him. The other thing is, for every time he chases off Stranger Wolves during the day, he gets an Ancestor Blessing for each wolf. Okay, okay, yep, that that's, that's fine. We're just gonna have a grizzly bear charging in on our den. That, that's, that's just fine. Yep, that, that's totally fine. But, as I was saying, uh, Cimarron... Uh, if he's playing during the day, he has the chance of earning an ancestor blessing for every five str or, or, uh, for every stranger he chases off during the day. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. <clears throat> anyway, so for every stranger that he chases off during the day, he gets an ancestor blessing. <clears throat> At dawn or dusk, he gets an Ancestor Blessing for every five. But at night, for every ten he chases off, he gets an Ancestor Blessing. The other special ability he has, as you guys know, is that he can lower the difficulty setting. <clears throat> and then his puffs, uh, if he has a white puppy... It will be the same special ability. And we're on this side, eh? Alright, um... <clears throat> but, yeah. So we're gonna do a little more hunting after we feed the pups. Alrighty, um... Oh my goodness, Sawtooth with so much experience, it's unbelievable. Alright, let's run up to the den. And feed the pups. Um, but, yeah. Uh, if Cimarron has a white puppy, or a puppy that looks like Kilimanjaro, then they have the same special ability as Cimarron. 
And Gila, her special ability is where if she kills, or not kills, fights off five grizzlies, for every five she fights off, she earns an ancestor blessing, or she has the chance of lowering difficulty, or she has the chance of potentially dying. So that would be the end of her. Um, if you chose her to have a side story. Um, so, yeah. Fate of our puppies lies in your paws, guys. So, make your choices carefully. Are ancestor blessings more important to you? Or is it the survival of the pack? Because keep in mind, if you choose Gila, she has the chance of dying while killing grizzly bears. So, keep that in your minds. The other thing Kilimanjaro has is, um, he has to make his house in Saddle Meadows. And for every stranger or predator or anything he chases off, for every five he kills, he gets an Ancestor Blessing. So, like, if he kills five cow elk, he gets an Ancestor Blessing. Kills five coyotes, he gets an Ancestor Blessing. Kills five hares, gets an Ancestor Blessing. Chases off five cougars, gets an Ancestor Blessing. Chases off five strangers, or chases off five grizzly bears, he gets an Ancestor Blessing. So that's his special ability. Since, in a way, he has kill in his name. Alright, and we'll run back to the puppies. It's how to let them know to stay where they are. And we're not too far from the den, holy cow. <clears throat> um, but, yeah. Those are the special abilities that our wolves have. Alrighty, I see a coyote. I see you, Mr. Coyote. Let's try and run. Alrighty, so he's not very fast over hills, he's just fast, um, on flat ground, but anyway. And then lastly, what our pup, Danny B, has, is, if he goes to, where is it, um, if he goes to the Aspen Heights Den, <clears throat> every pup he has there, that survives to the summer hunting grounds, or survives all the challenges until the summer hunting grounds trip, he gets an ancestor blessing. So you guys have to choose which one you want to be one to have a side story, because whichever one you choose is the one who we are going to have a side story with. And the one who we have a side story with is going to be running for the heir or heiress. So, depending on which pup you choose, in the straw poll in the description of this episode, will be the heir or heiress. So remember guys, the fate of our puppies is in your paws. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, let's just eat this up. Alrighty, where is it? Where's the oaks? Aha! There it is. Do -do -do. Alright, we'll do one hunt, and then we'll go feed the puppies, and maybe defend them. I'm not sure. Aha! Alright, perfect. We're downwind already. Let's see. No, not weakest. Not weakest. Not you. You're not the weakest. You are. Alright, let's get you. Oh my gosh, the elk are so much faster when it's not winter. When it's spring, the elk are so much faster. But then again, Sawtooth is becoming an old man now. Because he just had two litters of puppies. But this is why we take a break, though. Uh, because, you see, we don't want to, like, you know push our wolves, because it would just be wrong. It'd be as if it was a puppy mill. 